All right, a, a few videos ago, uh, we were you know, flying through some of these places. So some of these smaller ones that don't appear to have craters, surely it's not because of volcanoes, right? They're too small, they're not warm enough. They're just solid rock, right? Yeah, I mean, you'd expect big objects would hold their heat more. Yep. Um, they've got, I mean, if you make something 10 times bigger, you have a thousand times more rock, but only a hundred times the surface area for the heat to leak out with. Yep. So they can't lose their heat so much. So generally speaking, you expect big things, particularly Jupiter, but also like Earth and Venus, to store their heat and still have lava in the middle, which indeed they do. And then smaller things like Mars, maybe they had lava for a little bit, but then it started freezing and solid. Mm. Likewise, the moon, presumably they had lava near the surface very early on because it could leak out. But nowadays it's probably solid a good way down into the interior. And when you get to really small things like the you know, moons and asteroids and the like, it should just, it should just be solid rock. They might right? have had volcanoes a very long time ago, but it should be, the heat should have leaked out. They should have frozen at least a very thick crust and maybe frozen all the way to the middle. Right, so problem solved, right? Yes, and some of the small things, um, asteroids like Vesta, indeed, there's no sign of any volcanoes. Their surface has been comprehensively meteorited. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of just looks like a mini moon, to be honest. So this is what you'd expect for anything small. Um, but, as we said earlier, this is not always the case. The most famous example is Io. Now, Io is it's a big moon, but it's not that big, right? Yes, I mean, it's a little bit smaller than Mercury. I mean, no, Mercury is pretty meteorite-covered, yep. way smaller than Mars. Yep. So it should be pretty frozen and solid. And yet, there are very, very few meteorite craters on the surface. Yeah, the surface looks dramatically different than what we saw with Mercury or the Moon. Yes. And in fact, we can see volcanoes on Io. Um, and if you look here, you can see on the edge, what's that going on? Something's being squirted out. Yes, yeah, right. But uh, you just said, if it's... Okay, so it's smaller than Mercury, you need to be big enough to have enough heat, and something's coming out, so... How is this hot enough? Well, how, I'm confused. How is this hot enough to have something Indeed, coming out of it? Indeed, it's a great puzzle. I'm going to hold off explaining it, okay. so I'll show you a few more. I mean, here's another volcano on Io. Remember, the Io is the closest in moon of Jupiter, and it's yep. got lots of volcanoes going off right now. I mean, with spacecraft to go past, and we see... So it's quite active, this moon. Yeah, the volcanoes, here's an example of one of these volcanoes. You can see the actual lava flowing out of these things. <laughs> Early on, because of the yellow colour, people thought there might be some sort of strange sulphur volcanoes, but it turns out they're actually dry rock volcanoes, much like on Earth. Okay. We know that on Earth, volcanoes have a lot of sulfur out. You see it in hot springs and the like. That's true, yeah. So in fact, it's not that dissimilar to the volcanoes on Earth. Okay. Except the explosion, you can see on Earth, the explosion would cause you landslides yeah. and ash to get carried away by the wind because but there's very little air. It can the go things almost... blast it off into an orbit and then land out at huge distances around it. Okay. But it's not the only one of the moons of the outer planets that's got these volcanoes. It's probably the only one with actual lava volcanoes. But... I look at the scissors of the moon of Saturn Enceladus. Yep. And, and the surface again, very few craters. We see these cracks. We see these strange cracks all over the place. Um, and no, very few craters. But here's a view of it taken from behind. This is from the Cassini spacecraft. Yep. So you can see Enceladus and in the background a couple of the rings and another moon. Yep. Um, and look what's that at the bottom. Yeah. Is that another plume? Is this an eruption? It sure looks like it, and we can zoom in. It looks like mostly coming out of the south pole of Enceladus. There is something being squirted out. And it's similar, I guess, to what you said with Io, right? Not really an atmosphere, so it can just be blown out all around this moon. That's right, and, this, and the spacecraft actually went through it and sampled it. And what we're looking at is, it's not lava, it's you know, water and methane and things like this. Okay, but it's, but it's heated, right? This isn't ice being shot out, this is warm stuff coming out. Yeah, so of course this is a long way out, Saturn's orbit, it should be very, very cold, the ice should be frozen. Yes. I mean, frozen very, very, very hard, and you were talking about minus 100 degrees. You shouldn't be getting gas, heated gas plumes coming out. And some of the other moons, quite a few of them, also show signs of resurfacing, not necessarily actual plumes coming out. Uh, but here we're talking Europa, yep, yep. and uh, look at all these cracks on the surface. Again, you're not seeing the meteorite impacts. You're seeing a surface that looks like at some point, fairly recently, yeah. it was liquid and then you, maybe an ice flow or something like that. So, okay, so we have now multiple of these moons that quite clearly have surfaces much, 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 much younger by billions of years than, say, Mercury or, or the Moon. So what's going on here? Yeah, this is troubling. <laughs> 